All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say, Kahala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. In fact, I correct myself. I will say, Kahala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Rakak Wadash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, this this sit down is going to be basically based on um. You know, being a soldier, man, you know, enduring uh, manifold temptations and catching hell in this truth. All right. Because look, man, right now I could tell you firsthand, man, I'm going, f I, man, you don't really want to be broadcasting your hell like that, man. But bro, bro, brothers be catching hell, especially at this time of the Passover, man, coming, man. You know, brothers be, you know, brothers are in situations where they could lose their jobs and stuff, man, you know. But you know something, let me start off with the scripture, man. Alright, because what you got to understand is being in this truth ain't no joke. And so this is really for a message for like, you know, for myself first and foremost and the younger brothers, man, that are coming in. Look, man, being in this truth ain't no, no ain't no cakewalk, man. I'm going to just take, I'm going to put it, I'm going to take it like it is, man. Sirach 2 and 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Set thy heart aright. Alright, so what's the Lord say? Look, man, you gotta set your mind right, man. You gotta set your mind aright. Alright? The, the Hebrew word for the word heart is love, which which, your, which is your mind. Okay? So look, hey, when you come in to serve the Lord, you you gotta understand that the Lord said that a man's foes shall be day of his own household. Okay? That means that. You got your own family members that are going to come against you, man. Your mom might disown you. Your dad disown you. Your brother, you know, he comes up against you. Chats shit. Scoffs against the scriptures. Whatever. They might even come out to the camp where you teach and trying to find you, man. Head hunting. All right? But through all of those things, through all of those temptations, the Lord requires a soldier. The Lord requires a man that's going to stand strong and stand firm. Why? Because the Lord is a man of war. What man of war do you know of? Right? What general does not like a fighter? One that's going to be in the trenches to the end with his brethren to the end, man. That's going to carry out the task that's been commanded him. All right. One that ain't going to get his brother, let his brother to the left or to the right take a bullet. Because he was on his job and he weren't slacking. That's what the Lord is looking for. He's looking for them real soldiers, man. All right. This ain't no fucking joke, man. I'm going to just say this straight. Brothers are out here catching hell, man. Brothers are out here catching hell with women. Brothers are out here catching hell with their jobs. Brothers are out here catching hell with their families, man. All right? And that's why, look, man, that's why this brotherhood, man, we ain't supposed to be niggas in this. We supposed to be putting up prayers for brothers, man. Lifting brothers up. Exhorting one another. Building them up in the faith. This is what we supposed to be doing, man. This is your main profession. And if this ain't your main profession, if, if you ain't thinking like that, man, then look, man, the scriptures speak about counting the cost. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Now that word constant, it means you're going you gonna to always be going through temptations. If, if the, the Lord is saying constantly endure, that means that you're going to have to endure something always. You're going to always be on the job. Something's going to constantly be thrown at you, man. Alright? It says... And make not haste in time of trouble. Yeah, you can't be fleeing in times of trouble when things get, you feel the heat in the kitchen to get turned up, man. You know, you, the heat's coming around the corner. All of a sudden, you tense up. You fold like a fucking taco, man. All right? The Lord said, blessed is he who is not offended in me, man. You can't be offended to stand up for the name. Man, what if you, your colleagues at work see you teaching the word? So fucking what, man? The Lord said, look, man, I, I seal of the instructions. The Lord seals the instruction. So if the Lord ordained for your work colleagues to see you out there on the highways and the byways, then so fucking what, man? That's a part, that's your lot. That's what you got to go through, man. That's your calling, man. All right? That means that, look, man, the Lord is testing you. All right? And you got to understand that the things that are written before time are written for our learning. Just like the Lord tested Job, man. The scripture says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. It ain't talking about fleeing times of trouble, man. Brothers, brothers going for all manners of hell and it's, oh, I can't deal with that. I'm dealing with my own stuff. No, man. That's a selfish mindset to be having, man. Mindset. You got to be looking out for brothers as well, man. The Lord said, if you do it unto one of these, you do it unto me. 
The time of the nigger is over, man. The time of the men of the Lord is rising. And that's what we in now, man. The time of the end. All right, the real Israelites, the real Israelite, the Israel of the Most High that's going to stand up and take responsibility for every action, man. That's what the Lord is looking for. Real soldiers, real men that make real decisions, man. All right, it says, um, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. We're supposed to cleave unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. The scriptures speak about seek him ten times more. All right. 10 represents completion. You can't do enough for the Lord, man. Right now, I'm doing this video, man. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, brothers, I'm telling you right now, man. It don't matter if I've done 50 videos tonight. The Lord says, after you've done all of these things, still say that you're an unprofitable servant, man. That's the mindset you got to have. you got to stay humble, man. You can never do enough for your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. We, we deserve death for what we were doing, man. The transgressions we, we have, man. We be having against the Lord. The Lord says the wages of sin is what? Death. So really, we deserve to be done. Okay? It says, and this is the point that I wanted to get, man. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Okay? So no matter what, you know, you might get called in your in, in the office at a job. All right? A situation that I could be likely facing right now at this present moment in time. So the fuck what? You get called in the office. All right, what's the worst that can happen? Mate, we got to let you go. All right, so then you walk on. What you? What does that mean? You what, you're gonna fold like a taco? You are gonna cry like a bitch? You you gonna stop doing the work now? The Lord is testing your faith. Now, if you stop doing the work, that means that you were never about this. That means that if you went out from us, that means you were never of us, man. You were just one of them niggas that crept in unawares, man. The Lord said that was gonna happen, man. The Lord is looking for a fighter. He said constantly endure. Look, man. He said, look. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, when something comes to you, when a demon steps to you, man, because Satan's out here, man. The scriptures speak about spiritual warfare. Satan can jump on your guy at work, man. All right, ah, all of one minute he's cool with you, the next minute he's backing you up. That shit happens to brothers, you know. So what's what, what are you gonna do when that happens? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, you gotta take that cheerfully. You gotta praise the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the water, you know, you're, you're actually chiseling away the world mentality in me, man. You're making me more stern. You're making me more hard. And that word endure means to make hard. All of these things that come upon you, you're supposed to rejoice in that. You know what the Lord loves, man? The Lord loves a, a, a soldier, man. That's one that's going to take a beating like a man. Getting fucked up, everything. The demons coming left, right and center. At one time, especially the time of the Passover's coming, man. And then the, you're standing strong all of a sudden. Like the Maccabees sons, man. Getting boiled. Just sitting there in a vat of hot oil. Just staring. Like that's what the Lord is looking for, man. Real men. A lot of you guys think this is a fucking joke, man. You think you're going to come into this truth and it's going to be a walk in the park, man. This ain't no walk in the park. This is real life, man. It says, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. you got to be patient, man. The Lord can do anything. And if you had any ounce of faith in you, then you would know that the Lord can get you out of any situation that you're in, man. Now, if you're folding at, oh, I lost my job. If you're folding at that prospect, then what are you going to do in the times of Jacob's trouble, man? When you got a fucking cracker pointing his gun right, right at your fucking nose, man. What are you going to do in that time? Oh, I lost my job. So the fuck what, man? Man up, man. The Lord said, gird up your loins like a man. The Lord said unto you, oh, men have I called, man. It wasn't talking about women, man. The women are going to be saved through us, man. The real men of the Lord. Because when all hell breaks loose out of here, man, all them feminist movements, they're going to be looking for real men in that time, man. You best believe that. Revelation 3 and 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. you got to be zealous for this, man. you got to be passionate for this. you got to be in it to win it. you got to keep your eyes single, man. No matter what the fuck comes your way, man. 
Shit's coming over from that angle. Alright, cool. I know it's this. I know. Fuck you, Satan. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, demon. That's it, man. Keep moving. That juggernaut, man. Picking up that momentum. Nothing going to stop the juggernaut. Once he gets going, he's gone, man. The Lord said, look, man. Oh, man. The Lord said, I have lost none. That, that none shall pluck him out of the, uh, pluck the elect out of his hand. The elect are going to make it. The elect are going to be soldiers, man. The real soldiers, the real men that's going to be the governors in the nation of Israel, man. In the kingdom. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. Yahweh Shai was a perfect example. The Lord says, the, the, the Bible says, mark the perfect man. And I was speaking, I was reasoning with the brothers last night, man. Do you know how much anguish the Lord was going through, man? The things that he had to think about. Man, he was so stressed out that he was sweating blood. How many of you niggas be sweating blood, man? In fact, I'm not going to say niggas. I'm like, how many of you brothers out there be sweating blood? You have not resisted unto blood. The Yahweh Shai, he resisted unto blood, man. The scriptures speak about his visage, be, visage, visage being marred so more than any man. So ain't no one, Emmett Till, whatever, man. It don't matter. Anyone on the face of the earth, they weren't fucked up worse than Yahweh Shai was, man. And he's the author and finisher of our faith, man. He's the captain, man. He's the boss. He died, he shed his own blood for our sins, man. But you can't, what, you can't get fired from your job? You gonna get weak because you lose a fucking e couple FRN notes in your bank account, nigga, man? It says, for the, for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. The Lord, he endured everything that came his way, man. All right? The spittings, the slapping about, the flaying, the, the, the peeling off his skin, the, the cat and nine cells they whipped him with, all of that, man. The torturing that he went through, carrying the cross. Our Lord did that for us, man. Our King did that for us. But we can't do it for him. It says, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. And you best believe that the Yahweh Shai is up there, man, at the right hand of the, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. And, the, and the scripture says that the day of the Lord burns in his heart, man. A lot of you guys, you, you're waiting for Jesus Christ, man. That's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But when Yahweh Shai comes back, when he comes with them angels, man, man, he's going to tear shit up. The Lord says he's coming with fire, man. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. The Most High is going to fuck you up, man. A lot of you, you pork chop pastors, man. You adulterous, shrimp-eating niggas, man. Shutting up the kingdom from men. It says, For consider him that en endured. Endured! Yahweh Shai endured everything, man. Alright? Yahweh Shai was the hardest of us all, man. He showed us how to do it. That's how it's done. In fact, when he hey, when everything happened to him after that, he said it is done, it is finished. He finished his course. That was a true soldier that the Lord was proud of, man. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. For consider him that can endure such contradiction of sinners against himself. Let she be wearied and faint in your minds. Yeah, folding like a little bitch, man. Folding like a damn taco, man. Oh, my woman left me. Oh, niggas fucking playing slow jams. Curled up into a fetal position in his bed with the blinds closed down, man. Nigga, fucking man up, man. You gotta count the cost when you come into this truth, man. This ain't no joke. This is warfare, man. Spiritual warfare. And sometimes it can get physical, man. It says, ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin, and have ye forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children? My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Hey man, what did the apostle uh, Paul say? Look, I glory in my affirmities, man. 
All right. Take hey, when when now uh, brought low, take cheerfully when I take change to a lower state, man. The Lord's dealing with you as a son, man. As many as he loves, he rebukes and chastens. Just like when you got a son, I got a son, man. And if he goes off, I'll bust his ass, man. Because I love my boy, man. Because I don't want to see him go off. All right. Now, if you spare the rod, you end up spoiling the child, man. And then what's gonna happen? He's gonna grow up to be one of these dreadlock blonde. Blonde dreadlock wearing niggas out here in the streets today, man. A bunch of degenerates, man. Stabbing each other up because someone stepped on their trainers or looked at them funny, man. That's what your son's going to grow up to be. The Lord, hey, man, we went off. So the Lord chastened us. All right? Okay, yeah, we repented. Okay, cool. We said, Salaki, Yahal Bashem, Yahal Shai. You know what? I'm going to do what you say now. I'm going to serve you. But then if you go back on that now, that also got, the Lord's going to have to take you out. I'm going to close up on this, man. Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Alright? It's about continue. Didn't scripture say a better is the ending of the thing than the beginning thereof, man? we got to continue in this faith, man. The race is not given to the swift. That's why you got to endure. No matter what, man, you got to keep your eyes single, man. And if your eye be single, your whole body shall be full of light, man. And that's what we that's what we doing. We striving towards the kingdom, man. We running, man. We running, man. And we're going towards man, we we're going we we're, we're going towards the kingdom, man. You gotta be kingdom minded. Keep your eye single, man. You know? Otherwise, what are you in this for, man? You think this is a joke? This ain't no fucking cookout club, man. And exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. The Lord said much tribulation. The Lord didn't say a little tribulation, man. Alright? We, alright, us, us brothers in this truth, through much tribulation. Right? The shit that you're going through right now ain't shit compared to what's coming, man. Jacob's trouble is Jacob's trouble, man. Alright? And that's coming on, that's... The time of trouble is coming to test all of us, man, to see what manner of men we are. Alright, so with that, man, I'm going to close out, man. Shalom.